India has always intrigued me. This is my first visit to Calcutta, also known as the City of Joy, a place known for its friendly people and relaxed atmosphere. Today I'm in Calcutta and I'm going to discover the food and the cuisine and the culture. I'm hosted by Calcutta Walks and also Calcutta Bungalows. They're going to show me the insider's trade of what this city is about. So follow me as I discover Calcutta. Calcutta is a melting pot of cuisines, from rich merchants bringing spices and the working force bringing their cultures which has created a great diverse culinary street food scene. So I'm here with Ram from Calcutta Walks and we are here to discover what street food is all about in Calcutta. Yes. So tell me, what's the first place that we're going to see? The first place we're going to see is this Indian Chinese food but the Chinese have come to Calcutta with their genre of cuisine. Now it has been Indianized and it's probably a little more spicy and a bit more Shezuan, but that's what Indians like it. So how come there's such a huge Chinese immigrant in Calcutta? Calcutta was the second city of the empire and that gave amazing business opportunities. So as they brought in their food, they also brought in their families, their eating houses, Opium smoking dens. Fantastic. And also... Do we see that on the tour? No, No, those there. days are over and oh, finished with. Let's check it out. Come. So, this is the famous chicken pot. This is the Chinese-Indian fusion. So tell me, what's inside it, Ram? Chicken, a lots of tomato sauce and hot sauce on top and vegetables. Right, so basically lots of tomato ketchup. And also from Pao Chong, a nearby sauce company. Okay. That's all. And then what kind of spices might be in here? It would mostly have spices related to chilies, capsicum, pepper, and coriander powder and all of these. Mm. That is finger looking good, lip smacking. Yep. It's all over our beards. Yep. It's even over your fancy yep. pants. Yep. It's that good. Look at the mess that you've made. Yep. Absolutely love it. Your wife's going to wonder where you've come from. <laughs> <laughs> so the next store we're going to is, is a Halim store. Beef bone marrow stew. Beef bone marrow. Yes. So it looks quite Arabic to me. So is this an Arabic dish? Is it it's an Arabic dish which has come to India and it's been Indianized with Indian spices. It has got caramelized onion on the top, coriander and lemon juice, everything. So it's a very Muslim dish, would you say? Yeah? Absolutely. Is it uh, Afghanistan? It comes from Middle East. Middle East, basically. Yes, it's come from Middle East and then it has been having influences from everywhere. Okay. And would you say that pretty much with Calcutta food, there are a lot of influences from different areas? It has to be because it's the biggest city of the empire and it will have people coming from all over the world just to eat and bring their culture and mix with us. And anything which is tasty, yeah. we'll put it as our culture and we'll eat it. We'll not discriminate that if it's not, you know, Indian or non-Indian. Sounds a bit like the British. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Calcutta was the capital of India for what, about 300 years? Uh, 250. 250 years. Yes. And then it, it's uh, Delhi. And so a lot of the influences, a lot of traders came here. Yes. So it was the melting pot of True. the British Empire, of and the Mughal Empire. Everybody. Mughals everybody. ruled for 700, British ruled for 250 years. Everybody had their influence on food. Everybody gave us something and took back something. A little bit of you is a little bit of me. Yes, this is it. Okay, this is it here. Ah. Thank you. So just dig in, yeah? Very nice indeed. Really um, an unctuous, you really can taste the, the bone marrow and the, the braised beef in there. Here, have a go. So, you reckon tomorrow I'll be fighting fit, yeah? I mean, you'll be tomorrow more <laughs> fitter than today. <laughs> it's very good, actually. Try a bit of the meat. Try a bit of the meat. Very tender. And also a bit of lime in here as well. Yes, because on top, just to cut the thickness and the richness, to give it a balancing taste, it will be like that. Yeah. 
bit of lime, bit of coriander, a bit of chat masala in there. And then lots of lentils. Lots, lots of lentils. Of, lots of beef cut, you know, from the thigh, yep. from the shoulder. And then cook for six hours. Amazing. Such flavor and such intensity. They will also have to try it because it's something which people do not want to miss. Mm. Amazing.